Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a review and recap of the new episode of Oro Monogatari, which is on episode 15. Dang, well, well, already on 15, well, I'm the 15th episode of my love story, you know? Or Oro Monogatari, whatever you wanna say. Now, I really must apologize if this review and recap is very, very late. It's because, you know, I told I told you guys, like, um, already, if you follow me on Twitter or something and so forth, then, or if you follow up with my latest video, sometimes I give you small certain updates. Today, I had to go, I watched Inside Out, which was a pretty good movie, I'm not gonna lie. It got me, like, watery-eyed. Anyways, let's get out of there. I, we don't, that, that's not, that's not important right now. Um, let's get on to episode 15 of my love story. This episode right here, I gotta say, pretty cool. Nothing much really going on, pretty simple, but... Now, I think we're going to start having some certain plot to be involved now. I want to see how this is going to break out what. If I got a good feeling it could go well, it just depends what it does exactly though. Because, you know, I'm just concerned and worried. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have two with that our buddy um, Takio and his classmates are getting ready for like... um for a competition, sports competition kind of thing, you know? And of course, like, when it came to the meter run, Swedish meter runs, like, when you pass the baton to the next person, I'd be running really quickly, that kind of thing. That right there is pretty much one of the, like, um, main points in this episode, where, like, um, one girl messes up her leg and she can't go, and we have another girl replacing her, and, you know, she seems to have a stomachache here and there from what I heard, but it seems like she's okay. It's either she might have been eating, like, um, Something not healthy, that's not good for her, you know, that kind of thing. But eventually, as as the episode continues on, things are starting to look very well, you know. Yamato's pretty concerned about Takio, you know. And, you know, right here, this is where, like, um, we get to see some certain parts. And it's been a while since we have not seen that happening in this series, which it never happened at all. But it's happening right now, if you guys get what I'm saying. Like, um, a girl who's with her... Is, who's in a relationship is concerned, you know, that kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm trying to get, you get what I'm, you get what I'm saying. We see that in many series before, so pretty obvious here and there. So yeah, anyways, um, as the episode continues on, we have to it that things are just getting a little hectic here and there, nothing much going on, but some craziness. So after Tokyo decides to train the girl, the new girl to replace the girl with the sprained ankle to train her to run, she actually, she actually did pretty well one time when Takio was chasing her. But when it came to the real thing, she kind of messed up. But it was no problem for Takio. He ran like freaking the Flash, like no tomorrow and so forth, you know. But when it came down to a certain part of the episode where Yamato comes in and then Saijo, whatever her name is, give Takio a towel. This kind of gave... Yamato, the eyes, now think about my, oh my gosh, those eyes, those horrible yellow eyes, I was like freaked out right now, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, dude, that's pretty, eh, sc scary, and so forth, you know, you get what I'm saying, anyways, as the episode continues on with its procedure, we see to it that things are just getting a little calm, nothing much going on, but eventually, you know, the girl confessed to Takio that she likes him as a person, that kind of thing, when a couple things kind of got a little funny with Suna, that girl, and Takio, you know? And I'm thinking in my mind, what the heck's going on here, you know? That kind of stuff. Yamato did give Takio maybe a cell phone strap whatsoever, which is pretty fun, which is pretty cute, and so forth. And you know, at the end of the episode, like I said, like I said, and I'm going to repeat it again, the girl confessed to Takio that she likes him as a person, so it's okay if she could see him as master. And I'm thinking in my mind, this is not good right here, which is really, really concerning, but yeah. So, we might have another li love rival from what I'm told, you know, or from what I actually accidentally saw from other people from the titles of reviews of Oromonogatari lately. But, you know, like, um, when I looked at this episode, it seems to be okay, though I have a feeling drama is going to come up soon, so I'll see you guys in my next review and recap. Until then, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.